Right, this is the first genuinely tricky question. I think it's the first proper problem-solving question of this paper. You need to spend some time interpreting the first sentence, this one here. These two lines are tangents to some circle at those points. Right, you need to spend some time getting the diagram right. If you try and do this without a diagram, I think you potentially just shouldn't be doing A-level maths because you're too prone to taking risks. Right, axes, and then what do the lines y equals a half x and y equals minus a half x look like? Well, we know those, hopefully without thinking very hard at all. Do the points 2, 1 and minus 2, 1 lie on those lines? Well, yes they do because look, y is a half of the value of x or y is minus a half of the value of x. So we can draw those points on as well. Now, the circle is tangent to those two lines at those points. Can you picture what it looks like? I hope you're picturing this in your mind. Now we've got a good diagram, we can actually embark on solving this problem. But first, I want you to spot that this whole thing is perfectly symmetrical about the y-axis. And therefore, we can deduce that the center of the circle is exactly on the y-axis there. Although we don't know exactly what number that is yet, but we'll work that out. OK, um, how can we sort of triangulate where that center of the circle is? Well, because these are tangents, you can draw a right angle or a perpendicular line from point two one, say, and it, we know that it will pass through the center of the circle because that's how that's the interaction, isn't it, between a tangent and a radius. So I'm going to draw that line on and then just describe what that line is. It's a detailed reasoning question, isn't it? So that line is perpendicular to line y equals half x and it passes through 2, 1. So can we find its equation? Yes, we can. We can use that tool that we're familiar with. Um, substitute the points in and then simplify that and we get that the green line has equation y equals minus 2x plus 5. And that tells us that the y-intercept is 5. And because we've got a good diagram, we know that therefore the centre of the circle must be at that point there, 0, 5. Brilliant. We're doing really well. What else do we need to write down the equation of a circle? Well, we need the radius, don't we? Well, we've got a radius drawn on here. Look, the radius is, is there. I'm going to label it. And that radius is the distance from point 0, 0,5 to the point 2, 1. OK, we have a distance formula, don't we? The square root of the difference between the x-coordinates squared plus the difference between the y-coordinates squared. And therefore we have root 20. Sorry, I said the difference between the x-coordinate squared plus the difference between the y-coordinate squared, but it's the other way around. It doesn't really matter. It's the way I've written it is the other way around. So we've got the radius is root 20, and therefore we can write down the equation as just being x squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 20. That's remember because the uh, centre of the circle is at 0, 5, and the radius is, is root 20, so we square that for the equation. And to get it into the form they want, which is here, we just have to expand and set everything equal to zero. So expanding the normal way, taking away the 20 from both sides, and we have our answer.